In today's video we will be launching a probe on Minmas, this bad boy. And we will be covering everything, including building, launching the damn craft, including all the shenanigans that are entitled to it, transfers from the Kerbin all the way down to Minmas and getting that sweet sweet science payout. So let's get right into it. We have the bad signal mission. It yields 400 reward and we need to be, when we look at the mission brief, we will need to be sending a probe to Minmas and that's a probe with a communications antenna above Minmas. Right. Doesn't look too hard but we do have some science and we do want to unlock some tech tree. I'm gonna unlock the tiny engines because it bothers me to no avail that this tech tree hasn't been completed. And then we will be looking into the durable power systems because those have the biggest communication dishes and the solar panels which we direly need. Yes, now we have the communication dishes so we're gonna be, I'm just looking for which one has the highest range. Ooh, this one, XS, 86 gigameters. Sounds almost like, you know, 88 gigawatts, like from the Back to the Future. What can I tell you? I'm an 80s kid. Anyway, right, so we have our antenna and we have our probe core. I'm going to be attaching the antenna to the probe core. Looks great. Uh, then we will be attaching some sol solar panels. And honestly, I don't feel with this you know, straight solar panels. I've done that. So I'm thinking I'm going to go with the circular ones and to, and also that they provide a higher gain. I mean, antenna at its peak consumption does consume a lot. It consumes, I think, 12, uh, 12 uh, electric charge per second. And these antennas would generate nine. So it's not enough, but it will be considered. So We've put also the Science Junior to max out our science returns and science that we can collect from the orbit around Minmus. And if we look into the trip planner, we need 5,000 Delta V to get to Minmus one way. I don't think it's actually full 5,000, but let's keep it there. We're going to be keeping the workspace file name, you know, Minmus, and then we're going to be keeping those there. Okay, so that's our probe. We have attached a fuel tank and, of course, the Terrier engine, which is the highly efficient vacuum engine. Uh, should I place the shorter one? That gives me 1000 meters per second. I'm not happy with that. I need much more. I need 1850. That's to cover Minmus intercept and low orbit. Well, maybe I could go with the lower tank, but I don't really feel like it. Okay, let's put everything in a very nice fairing. And guys, for your benefit, as always, you're looking this at four times acceleration, three and a half to be exact. I thought that this would be a sweet spot where you see everything that's going on. And also, yeah, I need a different color scheme, base and accent. We had Austria for moon. For Minmus, we're gonna have this. I don't know what this is, but well, yeah, let's keep it this color scheme. Okay, it's ugly as hell and I love it. Right, so that is what we're going to be placing as our payload. Now we have to get a craft to get this damn thing all the way to the orbit. And I'm thinking, I was thinking to go with two and a half meter, but do I really need it? So if I slam this guy here and we say atmospheric, what is our thrust to weight is 1.22. That's a little bit on the lowish side. It's okay for the higher in the atmosphere, but not great for liftoff. So what we're going to do, we're going to be placing these two side booster tanks let's see swivels and another tank no no not two and a half meter these guys yeah and then this so if all three of them fire together with a fuel line i need fuel lines yes so if all of them fire together we have 1.78 and guys i mean if you're playing ksp you would do want a thrust to weight of roughly 1.6 ish at the law uh, at the liftoff I don't know. I mean, you could get away with 1.2, but you would need a lot more Delta V. Okay, I've ha hidden the fairings just so I can see my craft a little bit better. I do want to put my solar panels in the action group. So when I press the solar panels, they immediately, you know, deploy. Yes, extend. That's the word I've been looking for. Right. And then let's put the two launch clamps. There we go. And then we just need to lower this craft down. And there we go. Saving it again. And let's go for the launch. Getting ready. Deluge, igniters, and fire them up. And decoupling. There we go. Look how fast it goes. 
Of course, this is all three to four times accelerated. I figured, you know, it's a sand part. You do want to see it. I mean, if it was something going wrong, I would have not put it four times accelerated, but it went pretty successfully there, I say so myself. Decoupling. Okay, well, yeah, that, except for that part. Anyway, we are going still for the apoapsis. Everything seems to be going smoothly, going upwards, and then thrusting horizontally to get to a this sweet orbital velocity. There we go. Kerbin apoapsis, we're gonna go with roughly 100 by 100, as we always do. Deploying the fairing. Uncovering the solar panels. There we go. And another burn to circularize. Yeah, I'm actually cutting out the boring parts where I'm just transitioning between, you know, maneuver nodes and I'm waiting for things to happen. Do let me know if that's okay with the comments below. And while you're there, you might want to hit, press that like, you know, boop the like button because it really helps me out a great deal. And of course, if you're enjoying the video, obviously, if you think I deserve it. Um, also, while you're there, check that you might have been unsubscribed from YouTube, from my channel, for whatever reason. YouTube tends to do that from time to time. But uh, yeah, there we go. And we are getting to create a maneuver node that will be taking us to Minmus. So I do make a maneuver node and then I try to intersect the Minmus trajectory and I'm trying to find... Oh, we have a Minmus periapsis. So now what I do, I bookmark it and then I fiddle a little bit with the maneuver node to get it as low as possible. When I get it as low as possible, then I try to reduce the amount of delta V that it requires. And we'll end it up at 904 delta V after the staging. Sorry that it's been in the darkness. I mean, it is what it is. Sometimes these things happen in the darkness and I don't know, my lights don't really work in KSP. I don't know, it, do you have that same problem, guys? Do let me know in the comments below because I put on the light, it, you know, flashes for a second and then it doesn't work. I guess it's a, probably a bug somewhere in the save or, you know, but I, I'm sure the devs will fix it. All in all, I'm really enjoying KSP 2. It is really fun game now and it is a proper game rather than the sandbox sad state that it launched in. I mean, I'm a big fan, so I was trying to almost defend or justify it, but then again, you cannot uh, defend something that wasn't inherently good. But it's much better now, it works great, it has its own problems, but it's already an enjoyable game loop that I'm enjoying very much. And I'm going to be playing it a lot more. As I said, I'm going to be playing this exploration save because I really like exploration games. Anyway, so we are getting close to the Minmus and we are at Minmus. Ladies and gentlemen, finally, Minmus Sphere of Influence, which means we have a lot of science to conduct. I guess we are above Minmus, so yeah, transmit all of the science data, please, and let us earn some of at least this valuable data. Come on, are you sending something valuable? Ah, 70 science points. And another 70 are actually experiments that need to be returned back to Kerbin, yeah. That's also something that you need to be mindful of. By the way, this probe is on a one-way trip, so what we're going to be covering, we're going to be covering high above Minmus and low above Minmus experiments. I do like the Minmus music. I mean, the soundtrack on KSP, I already said it, it's just amazing. I'm really enjoying the soundtrack of the KSP too. Right, okay, so a couple of beauty shots with Minmus. Here we go, probe above Minmus, yes. Okay, don't mind if I do. Now look at it go. Alright, so now we have another burn coming in that will put us in the orbital orbital insertion, so to say. And I think that would cover the contract if I'm not mistaken. Oh, wait, I've been burning in the wrong way. Okay, yeah. Okay, and as you can see, science reward. The moment we got ourselves inserted into the Minmus orbit, it's fine. But I'm gonna go for the low periapsis because I do know that low above Minmus being a KSP, you know, veteran player, that low above Minmus is another host of science to collect. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do just that. Another set of juicy science. There we go. We have also submitted and earned ourselves some more science. Lack of solar exposure. I think that's covered uh, right about now. So yeah, this looks great. 
Being the fact that we are not gonna be returning the Minmus probe back to Kerbin, we can enjoy how far Kerbin actually is. And what we're gonna do is I'm gonna let you guys enjoy and I'm gonna just collect the sweet, sweet science that we are entitled to. And that's 400 science which we're going to be using, of course, in the future episodes. But until then, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.